you too. What's up, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. I'm here at the Bay Area Barber Battle 2018. I gotta show respect. I gotta show respect when I see my dude right YouTube. I'm about to teach a class. Stay tuned. So basically, we're here to talk about social media. And what I just did right now is basically, that's what I do. Social media. I, I work hard at it. And, um, you know, I built myself to over 1.8. I know the flyer says 1.7. But by now, it's 1.8, okay. so I, 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 thank you, thank you. Um, this is just something that I'm really passionate about, um, cutting hair, getting waves, it's just my passion. Um, first thing I want to talk to you guys about is building your name. And one of the things that I did when I built my name is that I said, you know what, I'm going to take a name that I already had. Somebody already kind of was calling me 360, I mean Jeezy, my, my best friend. He already was calling me Jeezy, so I just said, you know what? I'm about to get on YouTube, teach people how to get waves. Man, I'm about to throw the 360 on it. Jeezy, 360, Jeezy. You know what? That, got a, that, that, got a, that rings a bell. You know what I mean? It, it, and then when I did it, it could have been all type of things that popped in my head. Oh, that's corny. Oh, that's, 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 that's weak. That's not, that's... 360 Jeezy, what type of name is that? But when I did it, I walked in it. I said, you know what, that's, that's my name man. That's my name, I'm, I'm, and, I, and, and that's what it's gonna be. So I started being creative in that, and said, you know what, I'm about to use all my gifts. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, about to, I'm about to make an intro. 360 Jeezy. I started singing, I made an intro, you know what I mean? It's just all about being creative, using your creative juices, or, and, and just putting it all into your passion. Now, what I want to say to those that don't have a name, or, um, you know, they're just trying to figure it out, keep it simple. I know we play video games, and some of y'all video game tag name is Nintendo 3657845511. We gotta minimize it. You gotta, you gotta bring it home. You gotta bring it down. Keep it simple. And a lot of us out here will throw the barber on everything. The barber on everything. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, just be creative. Just be original and be you. Don't look at what other people are doing. And that's one of the things that I did not do. I wasn't on YouTube looking at other people and and trying to imitate what they did. I said, no, I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna do what I do. And I'm gonna walk in my 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 lane. Also, one of the things that I did was when I came out and, and started, you know, started my social media, I wanted to, my main goal was to help others. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I believe that I got so big is because I had a passion for something and I just took it 100%, just went hard. And uh, when I was doing it, I made sure I kept it clean. I said, you know what? I'm not going to be on here cussing. I'm not going to be over here showing guns, showing my money, flashing, you know, different type of, just, just stuff that's like unnecessary. I said, you know what? I got kids that's watching me. I got family. I got moms that's, that's referring their kids to my channel for them to learn how to either get waves, cut hair. So I always had to keep that in mind. I, I wanted to remain professional uh, prof uh, professional in uh, everything that I did so um, be mindful of what you post like I said um, establish your own kind of you know you know your, 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 your personality you know a lot of us out here we want to come out and be this hardcore person. Everybody want to be, you know, gangster. Everybody, just get on, get on your social media and be who you are. Be yourself. Don't, don't be somebody that's not, that you're not because other people will see that 
and they're basically be like, you know, this guy is fake, this guy is on one, this guy, you know. When people look at me, they're like, okay, this guy is corny, but 100%, you know, I'm being myself, because I don't mind embarrassing myself. I don't mind just, you know, coming out and, and showing you who I am. I want to open this up for questions because I want to get, I want to, I want you guys to get enough value out of uh, this whole social media class. So I'm going to open this part up for, uh, for questions because I really want to hear from you guys on and, and be personal with you guys on uh, what you guys may have. Anybody have some questions? You tell me. So, 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 me, you mean tell me if you I'll take off your right do rag right now <laughs> that you're wrong, you ain't got no questions? I was thinking right now. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, talk to me. Um, I just want to know, like, being a YouTuber, being a barber, business owner, husband, father, how do you find the time? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, business owner. I'm the manager of Velocity Cuts. My uncle right there, he's actually the owner. Of the last because I just want to make because it does say that I'm the owner on the campus. and I'm not the owner, I'm just the manager. For sure, well, that still carries a lot of weight, yeah, yeah. but like doing so many things and carrying that title as husband and father, like where do you not where, but how do you manage your time throughout the week? Um, as far as when I enter the shop, first thing that I do is wake up with a positive attitude. I'm like, I go into the shop and I'm like, man, this is, this is, I, I can't wait till a film come through because that, that's like the, the peak of my, you know, excitement as a barber. To get a film, to be able to teach somebody, that, that just drives me to be like, man, this, this is gonna be dope. And it's, plus it's my, it's me, it's my work. So when I go in, cut hair, get that film, bam. After that film is done, after I've done filming and do, I do everything myself. After I'm done doing that, I am juiced the entire day until I get off. Because all in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, man, when I get home, that's, that's, I'm about to put out some fire. <laughs> so, I get home, I play with my kids, say what's up to the wife. Soon as like around nine o'clock comes, hey, y'all got, y'all got to get to bed. Here, Tatiana, to your room. Babe, you already know. You already know. I'm in the bed, got my laptop, pull it out, bam, I'm working. And this is this is this is day after day after day after day. I don't have friends like that. I don't have friends that I go out and kick it with, and I'm not out here just, you know, drinking and, and, and doing all this. I'm just I'm just a simple guy that is passionate about what he's doing. Like, if it's waves, I'm in the mirror brushing. And then that, that's hard in itself to, to, to maintain. You still got to keep it consistent. So that's basically how I manage my time. I cut out my friends. <laughs> I don't got no friends. I wish I had some waiver friends, man. Okay. You want to be my friend? Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> 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 you have brushes. <laughs> Any uh any other questions? Talk to you. Talk to you. You're uh, 1.8 million followers, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of love. Right. I'm sure there's some hate in there. Right. And I like how you still keep your comments open and stuff. How do you deflect that type of energy that comes on your page? Um, I just do not respond to <laughs> hate. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> no straight, engagement. Straight, straight up. Listen, no I mean. Sometimes you can get wrapped up into what people are saying, but if you just take yourself out of the situation and not even look at it, you know, you'd be better off. So I'm sorry to any of you that said, hey, I left a comment on your page and you know, you never got back to me. I'm sorry, but the hate is real. And okay, it does affect you at all times. You may think, okay, it don't, it don't, you know, just a couple of people hating on you. It's just a couple of people saying negative stuff. When they talking about your family, they talking about your cut that you put time in and, and you know what I mean, your work and, and what you're doing and you know they ain't even doing what you're doing. They ain't even spending the time doing what you're doing. But I just completely just exit out. Don't look at it. And if it does something, something that happens to come across positive and I see it, bam, I throw a like on it. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to comment back on this one. Cause this one right here, you want it. That's, what I'm that's, what I, that's why I posted it. So I just I just completely just 
exit out of my life, really. Talk to me. How often do you make videos? Um, I make videos twice a week. Like, but sometimes they don't come across like that. Maybe may, one may come across in a week, but I make sure that I stay ready. So if I don't drop, if I don't drop a video, I already have like a vault of videos that I did in the past. That's why sometimes y'all see me, I'll be on Instagram with a fresh one, but then I'll be on YouTube with a, with a, with a grungy cut. That's because that video is old and I was just storing it up and I drop it. I'll do an intro to it, bam. So, I mean, I, I do it constantly, just nonstop. I'm always working. It's this, this. Consistency is key. <laughs> Consistency is key, like hard work. Like a lot of us wanna, a lot of us even came here today to be like, man, what's your secret? <laughs> what is? <laughs> I need, yeah, I need that secret. But it's, it's really not even a secret like that. It's just straight up, how hard are you willing to go? How hard are you willing to go to put in the work? Um, are you, are you, uh, you half-stepping and just throwing out a video and, or throwing out a picture every now and then and just, hey, you know, uh, yeah, okay, I'm not posting in a week. You know, I, I'm, I'm wrapped up in life. Life got me hemmed up. It's just, you know, it's too... And then that's another thing. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Like, half of y'all don't even know I was homeless at one point. I was going through school and I was homeless. But grind don't stop. You know what I mean? I'm steady putting out content, steady putting out stuff. Because this is just what I had a passion for. So it don't matter what you're going through. Don't let that be your excuse. Like, as long as you're getting up, going to work, cutting hair, you could snap a quick pick. You could snap a quick pick. That does not, it, it does not hinder you from snapping a pick, quick pick. The only thing is your mindset. You know what I mean? You gotta change your mindset. You gotta get into a good, a better mood. You gotta, you know, change your atmosphere on who you surround yourself with. You know what I mean? You wanna surround yourself with positive people that, that, that just keep pushing you. I know you guys seen the barbers that we have at our shop right now. Like where they came from, man. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. That's all about who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with people that, that want to get it and, 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 and you see they grind, it's, it just makes you want to, you know, let me, let me latch on to that and just, you know, run with it. So be mindful of who you hang around with, who you surround yourself with, because that all kind of plays a part in, you know, how hard you actually go. Any other questions? What's the last um, technique or, or like skill that you've learned? Because I know that you're learning every day. What's the latest and greatest? Comb overs. Okay. Comb overs. My, my comb, overs, comb overs start now was wet. I didn't know the blow drying style technique, none of that. But I said, you know what? I'm going to sit down learn what I need to learn on YouTube, and also with the barbers that you have in the shop, um, I just pick their brain. Hey, George, how do you, you know, I, you can't be prideful either. You can't be prideful and think that, okay, even, even with me, oh, you got millions of followers. No, 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 no. I still need to learn. I still need to, you know, grow. So I, I just, I just couldn't do comb overs at one point. George actually told me how to do it, and I was like, you know what? It actually makes sense, and I, I, I took the time to just listen and apply it. So comb overs, I, I struggled with, and I'm getting better. I'm not saying that I'm the best comb over uh, 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 barber. I, I just continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to just you know be inspired and just keep pushing forward. Any other questions? Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. you had a question. I told you I wouldn't forget about it. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask you, um, what are your like, recommendations for like wave products, like to like sporting waves or like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I got you. Um, 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 uh, anybody else want to know this question? Or just, is this, this kind of personal? Oh. <laughs> Y'all want to know? <laughs> Can I get waves? You said, say it again. What, what are your recommendations for like wave products? 
Wave products, yeah. um, I like to use Sweet Jamila. Now, Sweet Jamila oh. is like real dope. It smells good. You put it in your hair or your clients, and it doesn't weigh the hair down. Um, and it's not about products 100%. It's the, it's the hard work you put in brushing. So you could use an oil and just you know put in that work, but um, it's it's, it's kind of like everything though, like it's hard work. Hard work is first, number one. Pulling out the hours. You got your brush. Okay, okay. Just making sure. y'all didn't know that I have. I keep a brush on me. Any any other questions? Social media questions. Talk. How did you start your YouTube channel? How did I start my yeah. YouTube channel? Um, it's, it's all about this. It's basic, it's easy. You just make an account and uh, uh, have that name already in mind. Put your name out there and just start going to work. I mean, I don't have like a. I wish I had like a. Okay, you guys, here's how you started. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's just all about doing it. You know, it's, it's, it's not. It's not rocket science. Just sign up for a Google account and just do it. Yeah. Talk to me. Because you have to like hashtag stuff in YouTube for people to like come directly to your uh, channel like that, or yeah, they're, they're, or is it like a title type thing, like waves, and then yours a pop up? Titles, titles play, play a big part. But when when I started out, I wasn't even focused on that. It was more of putting out content. Whereas nowadays. Clickbaiting is in effect, so I mean, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend clickbaiting, but that's kind of where everything is going right now. So, to answer your question, hashtagging is important because that that gets if anybody search um, say how to get waves. Let's just put it on how to get waves in the hashtag section. How by itself to by itself. Get by itself and, and, and vice versa. Everything, every word has to be by itself. That way, if anybody searches a word and just throw a word in there, your video will pop up. Or be though in, in line to pop up. You know what I mean? In a position to pop up, I should say. So hashtags is important. Think of everything that that video is about and just put it, put it in the hashtag. Any other questions? Um, I've been watching your skits, and you've been making skits lately. Right. Like, you know, those, those funny videos. How do you come about with that? Like, do you plan it, like, that same day? Or, like, something you come up with, like, pre previously? Nah, that's, okay. Something like that is just, like, on the spot. I'm good oh. with, like, creating stuff and just, like, you know what? That's funny. I might write it down throughout yeah. the day. And then, you probably talk, what are you talking about? The one that I do with my brother? Yeah. Well, he'd just come to the shop and get a haircut, and I'd be like, hey, do this. I'll film them, and I'm like, okay, do it, do it this way. I'll film them, and I'll say, okay, do it again. I do multiple takes, that way I have, like, different, um, different angles to choose from. So that, that kind of stuff is, is just on the spot. You know, it's just random. It's really just random. I, I can't just tell you, like, a formula to use. It's just, hey, let's just be crazy today. So that's basically what I do. I just try to do a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My man, my man, Gio. Hey, your content, from the pictures, the skits, everything's clean. So I'm noticing you got your fan with the digital camera. How important is it to invest in equipment like that or, or even buying certain type of apps? Right, when I first started out, when I first started, I used my iPhone 4. And at that time, iPhone 4 was, was the camera to get, was the yeah. phone to get. So I just started out with that. If you ain't got the funds, don't think that you gotta go out and get these big expensive cameras. Although, when I did get the camera, it helped a lot because my quality and just the, you know, people wanna look at quality. You don't wanna just go out and look at a pixelated phone that's outdated. So, it's, a good, it's, it's good to invest in yourself. When I got this uh, camera, actually the first camera I got was an iPhone, uh, 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 Canon T3i. And, I was in school and I used the, the, the grant money or the loan money or financial aid, financial aid money. I took that and I went out and invested in myself. So that's, that's an important thing. I mean, you gotta literally 
Eat, breathe, and sleep. Eat, breathe, and sleep what you're doing. You know what I mean? You got to go all out. You got to take the step and just go all out for yourself if that's what you want to do. Any more questions? Talk to me in the back with the black hat. Um, so you've been doing this for a while now, and um, you, you caught the entrepreneur bug. Are you going to come out with your own merch, like brushes and stuff, and stuff like that? And yeah, try to, like, go... We have... I definitely have plans on coming out on my own products and brushes and stuff in that nature. So, yeah, this is, it's just all about being patient. I'm not in a rush to really just go out and try to get money from the community because I'm, you know, I, I got a name and I got followers. Like, nah, I'd rather be patient, come out with something quality, and, you know, do it on God's time. Honestly, I got to throw that in there because that's just, it's just real talk to me. You know what I mean? God is big in my life, and, and, I'm successful because of it, so. Definitely, definitely. definitely got to throw that in. Any more questions? Talk to me. So, <clears throat> you said you came out, like, through some hard times, right? Mm -hmm. So, first student, going to school, like, how do you, how do you suggest or, or what advice do you give to, like, struggling with tuition and, like, you know, coming up from that? Like, I know it's, it takes a lot of hard work and stuff, and, you gotta trust you, right? Right, right? Where do you like feel like that's that comfort comes into where you're like, okay, okay, honestly, as far as me, I'm not, I'm not speaking for nobody, I'm just speaking for myself. Um, when I when we decided to uh, open up a shop, um, my uncle was basically like, hey, you gotta go to school, and this is something that you know hit him from you know God, you know, he just started crying, like, oh man, let me. Let me go out, you know, let me, let me, let me call my wife, like, let me, hey, you got to go to school. I listened to that because I really felt like the Holy Spirit told him to, uh, this is something that I need to do. So I stepped out, did it. Now, when I did do it, all, all hell broke loose. Don't get me wrong, like, stuff just started, you know, crashing and burning as I'm going to school. But the good thing about it is, all the doors was open. As long as I took that step, I was able to go. And uh, how I got through it was just always thinking, this is what I'm supposed to do. God told me to go to school. God told me to go to school. God told me to go to school. I'm walking to school. From, I, I got to walk. Blings. People honking at me. 360. <laughs> <laughs> this is what God told me to do. This is what God told me to do. And it's just, it's just I'm glad I went through the struggle because look at the outcome. Man, I, I, could, I could have never imagined where I would have been at right now just by pressing on and just, you know, keeping that foot forward. So my advice to you is just whatever it is that drives you to go, just go 100%. Just, just, just stick with me. 100% get it. You're trying to eat me right now. Just 100%, just go for it. Just, just fall out there. You're in school right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just... Yeah, I know the hard times. Trust me, I know. I know. I wasn't. I didn't have no job. I was. I was eating off of tip money. You know what I mean? I, I, and and then so, and with that comes being angry at the client for not even tipping you. So it's kind of like that ten dollars. You mean to tell me that the school cost seven to get in? You couldn't slide me to three? <laughs> <laughs> even, in, even with that, did you feel that, right? Yeah, because it feels like, man, like, oh, I'm struggling. You know what I'm going to do? But at the end of the day, you can't even look at that. You just got to, you know, can't wait till the day you get up out of here. Because the day you get out, you know what I mean? You just got to keep that in front of you. Um, any, any? Hey, did that when you first went viral with the video? Did that skyrocket you out there struggle? Let me tell you, let me tell you how, how I stopped. And this has a lot to do with my uncle. I was staying with my uncle at the time. And he was like, man, you know what you should do? This is around the break with beef and meat meal. Right? Yeah, it was good. That ain't that long ago, was it? This is when Drake was beefing with Meek Mills. I was staying with my uncle at the time, and we were just talking about Drake and Meek Mills and all that stuff. And he was like, you know what you should? My uncle was like, you know what you should do? And I was like, what? He was like, man, you should stir up a fake beef. I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, yeah, you should, you should, 
you stir, stir up a fake one. You know, hit them up, tell them what y'all gonna do. You should just stir up a fake me. I was like, all right. I was like, oh, you know, it, it, it kind of sounds big because, you know, uh, drinking meat meal, that's all people was talking about at the time. So I was like, okay. So me and this guy named Nick Wavy, I hit him up. I was like, all right, we're gonna do something. We're gonna, we gonna do this wolfing challenge. You know what I mean? We're just gonna talk smack about each other in the video. So I ended up doing the wolf challenge and growing my hair out for like 11 weeks. This is, this, that's basically the wolf challenge for people that don't know. You grow your hair out to a certain length, uh, and then after, after you grow it out, you just basically cut it all off, and then, I mean, bam! Like, when you cut down waves, I know everybody in here done cut down waves before. You cut down some waves, it'll make you look like the king of barbers. So, that's basically what we did. At the end of it, the last video of me cutting it down, that video, is, I'm sorry Uncle Kev, it was the reigning champ for a long time, but me and Brandon and Barbara's gone wild, we had took it over. But it's the second, most second view video that I have, like with over six million views, so I gotta give a shout out to my Uncle Kev for the, for the, for the alley you. you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> honestly, honestly, that launched me to do some, some great things, I mean, well, I moved out of Uncle Kev's house with that one. You know what I mean? Like, Uncle Kev, I'm gone. <laughs> Any more questions? Talk to me. How was your wife? Because um, I know that she did cut your hair that one time. Right. How was she taking all this? And because I know, I mean, honestly, with success, rather if it's YouTube or just personal one-on-one -on -one conversations, when y'all are out in public. How does that work? Okay, okay. My, my, my wife, gotta talk to her still, gotta talk to her, because she'd be bringing me too much attention. So when we walking out, and people are like, oh, that's 360 Jesus, she's like, oh, you know 360? <laughs> <laughs> Jared, he, he knows you. He knows you. <laughs> hey, come on, see what? <laughs> Bang! Bang! <laughs> so. I mean, she loves it, honestly. She like, she kind of likes all the attention a little bit, like, Ugh, I'm with 360. <laughs> my daughters, my kids, my, okay, my daughter doesn't like it, because it's like, that's my dad. You know, that's my dad. Stop talking up top, stop feet. Hold on now, feet, 50 feet, 50 feet. <laughs> so, my, my daughter doesn't really like it that much, but, you know, it's all good. But my wife really supports me, um, especially through the hard times. The hard times is when I'm at the house, after a long days of work, editing my video. Babe, you think I should? Uh-huh. What about this beat? This beat cool? Oh, you Oh, you ain't really feeling me? OK, you. Babe, did you hear what I said? Did I sound good? Huh? I'm like, babe, come on. Come on, you ain't rocking with me? So she just be gone sometimes in her, you know, and what she's doing, and she knows that I gotta work. So, having a good having a good spouse is really important because I could just imagine if I was with, you know, some of the other ones that I was dating. And that was all me, 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 and I had to be like, okay, okay, where do you wanna go? Okay, all right. So you gotta get with somebody that that got your back 100%. As well as I have her back. I don't want, want y'all to think it's all about me. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Come on, I want to talk. <laughs> no rush, brother. Come on, man. You the man with the plan. But okay. I got a question. You going to be floating around later? I got a question. So, Jeezy, uh -huh. you work in the shop. You cut a lot of hair. And then it seems like you get requests for either education or guest barbering or to do outside of the shop collaborations, unlimited. How do you sift through what you do as far as shows, as far as classes, uh, as, far as, as far as traveling and your time outside of the shop? Because it's hard to juggle. Because usually yeah. shows are Sunday morning. I don't really do shows like that. Like, this, is, this is basically the first, one of the first, uh, you know, classes that I've ever taught, so I'm just, I'm just kind of all still new to it, but 
100%. Hard work, dedication, motivation, consistency. The will to keep going when it goes against tough and the tough gets going. You gotta go. Yes. You gotta go. It ain't. It ain't. I don't. I don't. I don't have time to sit down. I don't. I don't. I don't really sit down like that. I'm all about. How do you juggle that? Um. I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I said. Yeah. I said that before you got here. I don't really have friends like that. I don't. I don't go out and kick it with people. It's just all about me and my family. So. That's basically how I judge it. If, 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 if it ain't about 360 and my family, <laughs> Uncle Kev, I, I come over. Uncle Kev, I see y'all. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I gotta do. All right. It's just all about building myself. I mean, this is what I love to do, though. Like at the end of the day, this is this is this is. I eat, breathe, and sleep it because I love to do it. So. Brushing my hair in the mirror, I mean, it all kind of ties in with being consistent. There is no like, if you spend time doing other things, then I, I can see where you're, you know, where you can drift and go and do other things. You kind of distract you from, you know, really building yourself. So just focus on building yourself and you'll get there. Anybody else with the questions? Wow. Oh, yeah, I when uh, starting YouTube, bad, I got you. how uh, consistent should you be at first? When you're just starting, no following at all. Um, should you be dropping a video every week, every day, every two weeks? When I when I first started, because I, I got to resort back to me, because I can only tell you what I've done. Okay. When I started, I was dropping every week, if not twice a week, just because I was so motivated on like I would find something, and this when I first started, I was talking about I was talking about waves. So haircut didn't come later until I went to school. But when I was dropping videos at first, it was like, oh, I found something new about waves. Oh, I gotta make a video. Let me, let me, let me put up the camera. Let me tell them, man. Let me tell everybody what I found. You know what I mean? I was super juiced about it. I, I just kept going. So to answer your question, drop whenever you're inspired to drop, but make sure it's every week. You don't want to keep people waiting around, like, because if you fall off YouTube, they'll, they'll kind of put you on back burner and won't even recommend your videos like that. So, like, you got to keep it consistent. That way your engagement will, you know, basically your analytics and all that stuff. And that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother avenue right there. But as far as, like, it's just being consistent. That's the main thing. Talk to me. You raised your hand. Well, are you looking at like you looking at? Oh yeah, that's my How you doing? How you doing? Um, where do you see yourself in 2020? You know, like what are the next type of goals that you got going for yourself? Um, my next goal is to work on products. Honestly, like getting something, getting a, like a, a brush or a wave pomade out there that I like and that I can share with, you know, the people that follow me or, or want to uh, just invest in what I'm doing or just, you know, to, 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 to buy what I'm, you know, offering. So products and, and brushes, that's, that's my next goal. And being consistent. I mean, I, I'm just going to keep being consistent. I'm not going to lose the motivation. I'm not going to not drop a video. I'm, I'm a, this, this is something that I love doing, so I'm going to... This is my life. So, any other? Yeah, I got one. Talk to me, yeah. Let the lady go first. I'm okay. um, when you're building, um, as far as marketing and advertising, because I know that like people have different opinions on that. Um, do you did you kind of like teach yourself how to do it, or did you get other people involved to help you do that stuff that knew a little bit more than you about it? Um. I taught myself, but it's all out there for you though. Like YouTube, like if you type in anything on YouTube, it'll pop up. It's all about taking the time to educate yourself, to you know, to just do it. It's just all about doing it. It's just all about doing it. You got Marv right here. He, he was insane. Barbers, you know what I mean? People will throw him under the bus and he don't care. Barber, this look at me. videos, they be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did 
hate it. Even I hate it on Mark. Even I hate it on Mark. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, that was dope, bro. But, uh, yeah, we did it myself. That's what I just want to know. So, DM, talk to you. How you doing? I don't know what happened. I don't know what you said. Right. Honestly, it, I know it's all good. But by me being in the game as long as I've been in the game, and I'm watching all these young, amazing barbers create, like you have created a, a lane, a space for yourself. My question to you is because the questions I try to ask is always to be able to help everybody else understand to want to be where you are. But my question is, what is your end game? When it's all said and done, what do you want to do? Endgame. End game. I know that's a tricky question. <laughs> not, most of the time when I ask people that hurt. question, everybody <laughs> gives me a crazy answer, and that's not the answer I'm looking for. But I wonder, you know, because you're still young, right? But what, what I mean, how, 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 how young do I look? <laughs> no matter. We already know black don't crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the bottom line is, is I'm just saying, I, I, I think you look in the 20s, but, you know, I'm probably, what, 30? See, I'm, I'm pretty good at this stuff. But the bottom line is, what is your end game like? Because we have to look at our end game. What do we want to do when it's all said and done after barbering? Because a lot of times, barbering is right here in our face. We don't see nothing else. Right. We don't never see nothing else, right? But I wonder, is there an end game for you? Or has it even been thought about yet? To be honest, it hasn't been thought about. I'm, I'm in the, the building stage right sure. now. I, I, I just... When, when that that when that point presents itself, then I'll be. I, I want to say I will think about the end game. But for right now, I'm just focusing on one day at a time. Right. right. May I suggest? Talk to me. Suggest. Talk to me. I suggest every single person in this room right now figure out your end game before you even get started. Because at the end of the day, we can live a long life. We think we can live a long life. But we want to know where it ends up at. What do we want to do? Where do we want to be? And what do we have for our family, for our legacy? And so if we don't think about those things now, why we hot? Because we hot now, but tomorrow we might not be so hot. Did we prepare ourselves for our end game? Because Jeezy, Mar, D.L. Master Barber, well, I'm at the end already, so but the bottom line is, at the end of the day, how much is it going to cost you to be you at the end? And that's what we need to prepare ourselves for, and not wait till the last minute and be like, oh, now I'm 50, I'm going to start thinking about my end game because it, it, it presented itself. I'm saying to you, as, as OG to young mentee, start thinking about your end game for your family. So when you say, yo, we done, baby girl, let's get up out of here. Let's go do whatever we're gonna do. Yeah. We got the money set up and we can live our best life and not just be a hashtag. Yeah, can I pick that though? Cause I mean like, who, who knows the owner of Sanic Strips? Like who, who is it? You know what I'm saying? But like every barber needs Sanic Strips. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but like who's the owner? You know, I don't know the owner. Do you know the owner? <laughs> no, but they, but they got this product that every single barber has to buy to cut hair. So I think my man's is, is like kind of in that direction, like the end game, like how big can it be? You know right. what I mean? And I mean, that all goes back to me setting goals for myself. You, right. you, like, you guys ask me, you know, what's, what's next? Products, yeah. you know what I mean? That's something that I want to be, when I envision myself, I want to be the guy that don't even have no waves no more. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I got a 360 wave product I don't win ball, but you guys know my resume because you see it on YouTube and you know that I, I'm proven. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just building myself a little bit at a time, you know, being in the right position to, and just being patient, that's, that's, that's just who I am. And, and I'm telling you, it worked, it worked because I was, in, I was in a shop by myself cutting. And me and my uncle, we opened up, it was just me. You know, we could have been like, come on in, come on, get get barbers in, just get, get, come on in. We was getting interviews like that, but they just wasn't the right people. So we said, you know what, we're gonna be patient enough to wait for the right people, and 
look at what happened now. You know what I mean? Just look at what happened now. We full shot. We got the right people. We get, we all get along. We all inspire each other. We all building each other up. Just imagine if I was just to say, come on in to anybody. You know what I mean? It'd be a real kind of, I don't know what's up with dude. You know, he, he, he coming in here smelling like feed every day. Me and my uncle, we got something to talk about every time we leave here about that person. You know what I mean? So I just believe in being patient and just setting goals as you go. Hey, Gigi, you want to take one more before we wrap it up? Talk, talk to you. Want to take one more question? Talk to you. Take one more. One more. Got the young lady right there. So what's your advice for someone who's kind of just starting out as, like, let's say, a business owner and who is that person who's been in the game for a good amount of years and who is seen as that mentor and that teacher role to his barbers and his shop? Say that, say that say that again. Say that again. <laughs> I, say, that was, that was I know, sorry. Yeah. Slow it down. Now, uh, what's your advice for someone who has been in the game and who is who is seen as a mentor and a teacher and who also just happens to be a business owner? What is your advice for them just kind of starting out and giving in advice and pointers and teaching his partners? Well, I'm not a business owner, but I, I do, my uncle, is the business owner of the shop, and we kind of have, you know, the same like mind. And one thing, one thing I can say is, uh, treat your barbers. Cause are you trying to open a shop? Or wow, you you gonna sit here and have her? <laughs> no, I came up with this. I came up with this. <laughs> I'm chilling. I wouldn't even think about none of that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She came out of nothing. And when she started describing, I'm sitting here to sweat because we know. <laughs> Like me. <laughs> yeah, well, so. basically, you want to treat your barbers with respect, offer them something um, as far as being on their website. Um, incentives. Maybe. Incentives, yeah. Like, just, just don't. Yeah, man. My, my, my uncle probably could tell you a little bit more on something like that. Go ahead, Uncle Ken. He's just. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about him. He don't want to be on social media. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Come on, spot. Just um, treat your barbers with respect. Love them. Develop a healthy shop instead of just a shop. Don't just be the corner spot. Be the spot. And I mean, not looking for the light, but when you treat your barbers with respect, that is contagious because it also affects their clients as well and how your clients will appreciate the shop that you are running. So it's real important to uh, really treat your barber with respect. If you got to give, give everything you have to them. In our shop, our barbers need stuff. I just give it to them. I don't look for the money from them. I just give. And the results is these are some great young men. Like he said, they vibe together like you wouldn't believe. So I'm grateful just to be in the shop with them. That's all. <laughs> OK, all right, we, we out of here. They're kicking me out. They're kicking me out here. You too. And that's it. And that's it. Can, can, I, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Talk to me. Talk. Hold on. Yeah. 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 I'm already knowing. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Say what's up. What's up? What's no. Up? What's up? All right. All right. He said I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> but YouTube. That's it. I'm out. Barber uh, uh, Bay Area Barber Battle 2018 here. And I'm gone.